Hey everybody. So in case you're wondering if your old computer could run Windows 11 24H2, it appears that there's a possibility that it may not. So there's actually been a few articles been um, going around in the past couple of days from various websites such as Neowin. Um, and I'm going to actually read a little bit of this article here from Neowin and I'll put a link into the video description. And it is titled, Microsoft's Upcoming Change Could Block Off Windows 11 CPU Requirements by Passing Old PCs. Now, first thing you might think is when you see that is, oh, your computer might officially have to meet the Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements for Windows 11, which is my name for the Windows 11 System Requirements. But no, not necessarily. Um, so what's going on is... In new builds of Windows 11, so the, the beta or preview builds for Windows 11 24H2, um, in particular, build since build 25905, a CPU with the instruction POP CNT is now required, which is short for population count. So, without population count, it doesn't boot. So, the funny thing is, is AMD introduced this instruction set back around 2006 to 2007 with its Barcelona architecture which was the first true quad-core CPU so I'm thinking that probably means AMD Phenom first-gen Phenom that was around back when I was in high school <laughs> so definitely definitely much lower than the Microsoft Elite Class system requirements but yeah it's, it's kinda interesting that some computers that are from like 2005, 2006, 2007 that, well, you wouldn't think of running Windows 11 on anyway. Probably won't be able to do it for sure now. Um, now, one computer, for example, that I have um, is a Dell Instrum 1525. And I think what it said here, yeah, the instruction has seemingly been in place since uh, an earlier build, 25905. That's the uh, requirement for POP CNT. Um, which coincides with another previous report where old AMD Turon 2 and older Intel Core 2 Duo PCs were found unable to run Windows 11 via bypass, meaning bypassing the Elite Class checks. Um, so it apparently means that perhaps your computer must have at least an AMD Phenom series CPU or an Intel, maybe an Intel Core 2 Quad. I do have a system kicking around with a Q6600 that I could probably try it on when Windows 11 24H2 comes out. Yeah, so Windows 11, um, by the way, is going to be getting another feature build this year, 24H2. It's not going to be Windows 12. So Microsoft apparently has delayed Windows 12 for another year. I mean, we haven't had Windows 11 really that long to think about it. But, yeah, so officially now for Windows 11 24H2, your computer is going to at least need to have an AMD Phenom series CPU or maybe an Intel Core 2 Quad or Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 first gen. Which again is well below the Elite Class System requirements and that's why I call them the Microsoft Elite Class System requirements because time and time again, I mean, that gum, 24H2, this is, this is the third year of Windows 11 and we're still apparently able to run it on computers that are well below the Elite Class requirements. Which, by the way, the system requirements for Windows 11 and you have to have um, at least an Intel H Gen Core Series CPU or AMD Zen Plus. So that means some Ryzen 2000 CPUs are newer. And of course, my system over here to Tower Lux is a Ryzen first gen, which doesn't meet the Elite Class requirements, but I've been running Windows 11 on anyway for quite a while now. Um, so, yeah, interesting to note that if you're running Windows 11 on a very old system, like for example an AMD Athlon 64X2 which I've actually I've done some installs on similar systems those systems will no longer be able to run Windows 11 come 24H2 so it appears my old Dell Instrum 1525 just might be out of luck for 24H2 but 23H2 will still have support for another little while and by the way um, it's funny to note that if your computer does not meet the Elite Class System requirements for Windows 11, you may as well just go ahead and bypass those requirements and install it anyway, because the thing is, 23H2 support ends later than Windows 10 support ends. So, think about that for a second. Interesting to note. So, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. 
Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel that's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.